Jesus died. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We are now on the second day of our Simbang Gabi. And today also, we are on the third Sunday of Advent which we call Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete meaning joy. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great our salvation and to celebrate the mowers with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated. The spirit of Gaudete Sunday is expressed in the words that the prophet addresses to the broken-hearted Israelites in exile. God will heal them and bring them back to their own land. Jesus will make these words his own when he begins his public ministry. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. <gasps> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Paul asked the early Christians to prepare for the Lord's coming with joy in their hearts, with prayer on their lips, and with a life of holiness. A reading from this first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Gaudete Sunday, ito ang tawag natin sa linggong ito, yung pangatlong linggo ng Adbento. Gaudete, salitang Latin, ang ibig sabihin ay matuwa, 
rejoice, magkaroon ka ng tuwa. At ito'y dahil pinapaalala sa atin na malapit na malapit na ang pagdating ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Nung bata tayo, napakadali nating i-associate yung Christmas sa Pasko. Sa katunayan, di ba kaya nga tayo excited na excited sa Pasko dahil ito'y isang masayang panahon. Sa Pilipinas nga, bare months pa lang. Nagsisimula na tayo mag-anticipate ng pagdating ng Pasko. Masaya kasi. At kadalasan, we associate the joy of Christmas with the things that we see around us. Tingnan yung ating simbahan ngayon. Kakaiba ang liwanag. Ang dami mga ilaw. Kahit sa labas, ang natitiy ako maging sa inyong mga bahay, napakarami mga ilaw. At iba't iba mga dekorasyon. And we also associate the joy of Christmas with the joy that we receive, that we experience when we receive gifts. Kabi-kabila ang exchange gift. Nung bata ko, lagi kong inaabangan yung bisperas ng Pasko dahil pwede na naming buksan yung mga regalo. At sino ang makakalimot sa mga Noche Buena na napakaraming pagkain? At mas masarap yung Doce Buena pag magkasalo-salo yung pamilya. Yun din yung isang dahilan kung bakit tayo masaya pag Pasko. Nagsasama-sama ang pamilya. Kaya kung titignan natin, totoo, napakasaya ng Pasko. Dahil napakaraming reason to be happy. Pero habang tayo ay lumalaki, slowly we realize that Not all the time is Christmas a joyful season. Diba? Kapag tumatanda na kasi tayo, naranasan na natin yung buhay, yung tunay na buhay, hindi na tayo bata, parang minsan nahihirapan na, 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 nahihirapan na tayong maging masaya sa Pasko. Halimbawa, for others, it is difficult to rejoice during Christmas kapag ito yung unang Pasko mo na hindi mo kasama ang iyong mahal sa buhay. Lalong-lalo na kapag na-associate mo yung Pasko sa family. Christmas is about family being together. Eh, paano kasasaya kung wala na yung tatay mo? Wala na yung nanay mo? O di kaya wala na yung anak mo? Malungkot kaya't ang hirap maging masaya. Paano ka rin sasaya kung ito yung panahon magpapasko pa naman? Natanggal ka sa trabaho. Papaano na yung mga inaasahang regalo ng mga anak mo? O di kaya naman, papaano ka magiging masaya ngayong Pasko kung di ka pumasa sa board, sa bar, habang yung iba nagsasaya, ikaw nalulungkot dahil nakailang take ka na, hindi ka pa pumapasa. O paano mo may experience yung saya ng Pasko kung kabe-break nyo lang ng iyong boyfriend o ng girlfriend? Yet the more we grow, as we go through the stage of our adulthood, nare-realize natin na hindi lahat ng pagkakataon masaya ang Pasko. Katunayan yung ibang tao na di-depress pag Pasko. Kasi nakikita nila, ang dami-daming tao nagsasaya, nagpa-party, pero sila parang hindi nila makita, bakit ako magsasaya ngayong Pasko? And yet, in the midst of all those um, sad events, challenges that we experience, the more we can hear the invitation for us. Rejoice! Kaya nga Gaudete Sandi ang tawag ngayon. Rejoice! At yun ay galing sa ating opening antiphone, sabi dito, mula sa letter ni San Pablo. Sabi niya, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. At binigay niya yung reason bakit ka magsasaya. Indeed, the Lord is near. Malapit na ang Diyos. Malapit na malapit ang Diyos. And that is the reason. That is the reason why we rejoice. Dahil, malapit nang dumating ang Diyos. Ang pangalan niya, Emmanuel, 
ng ibig sabihin, nasa atin ang Diyos. And kahit na ano pang paghihirap ang danasin natin, the moment we know that the Lord is near, we have all the reasons to rejoice. Because sometimes, we rejoice during Christmas for the wrong reasons. Well, not exactly the wrong reasons, but not the most important reasons. Dada, makakapagdiwan tayo ng Pasko kahit walang Noche Buena. Makakapagdiwan tayo ng Pasko kahit wala tayong regalo na tanggap. Makakatang, ma, mararanasan natin ng Pasko kahit na maraming dagok tayong naranasan sa buhay, kahit bumagsak ka pa sa mga board or bar, o kahit na wala na yung mga mahango sa buhay, pwede mo pa rin maranasan ng Pasko. Papaano? Alalahanin mo. The reason for Christmas, the reason for Advent, the Lord is near. And that is the reason why St. Paul tells us, Magalak! Narito na, papalapit na, papadating na ang Diyos. And that is why the focus of our celebration during Christmas should not only be on the external things that we see. Tanggalin niyo man yung, Pasko, yung mga liwanag na yan, mga parol, pwede pa rin Pasko. Dahil ang pinaka-importante sa ating Pasko ay yung pagdating ng ating Panginoon. And how will He come? He will not come with great fanfare. Nung unang panahon, dumating ang, Pas ang Diyos, napakasimple, sa isang hamak na sabsaban. And that was all that mattered. It was not the manger, pero the fact that Jesus came, He was born into this world, that is the most important thing. Kaya nga sa pag, habang papalapit na ng palapit ang Pasko, ngayong tayo ay nasa ikatlong linggo na ng Adviento, paghandaan natin ang pagdating ng Panginoon. More than the externals, paghandaan natin si Kristo na nawai silang siya dito sa ating puso. At papaano isisilang ang Diyos sa ating puso? Kapag unang-una inalis natin yung ating mga kasalanan sa ating puso. Kaya nga, isang magandang regalo na maibibigay nyo kay Jesus bago magpasko, prepare a place for Him in your heart. Go to confession. Kung meron man kayong pagkakasalang, hindi nyo pa naihihingi ng tawad. Now is the time to do that because Christmas will be meaningless kapag hindi natin natanggap ng karapat dapat ang ating Panginoon sa ating puso. Lilipas at lilipas ang Pasko, anong nakuha natin? Marami tayong regalo, nadagdagan tayo ng timbang, nabawasan yung pera natin sa bangko. Pero ang tanong, did we receive Christ in our hearts during Christmas? Kaya't mga kapatid, as we are now on the third Sunday of Advent, Paul reminds us, Rejoice! Magdiwang! So kahit na tayo ay nakakaranas ng paghihirap, pagsubok sa buhay, there is still a great reason to rejoice. And what is that reason? The Lord is near. And so that our joy may be complete, let us make ourselves ready, prepared to receive our Lord Jesus Christ with a heart that is pure, with a heart that is contrite, and a heart that is ready to receive Him and give birth to Him in this world. Please stand. Let us confidently bring our prayers before God the Father, who is the joy of our souls, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of Christ our Savior. Full of trust, we pray, God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. 
May the church become a source of joy to those who are suffering and commit herself to defend at all times the dignity and sanctity of human life. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May world leaders unite to combat all forms of violence and human degradation, implement laws to protect the voiceless members of society, and exert every effort to bring justice and peace. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May victims of human trafficking, migrants, refugees, and those who suffer from war, persecution, natural disasters, and poverty find hope and healing in Jesus. May they be freed from their bondage and find emotional, physical, and spiritual healing from the communities who welcome them. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May policemen, law enforcers, those who defend, protect, and care for the victims of injustice and those who educate others and spread their advocacy about human right violations may be free from harm, be filled with hope and joy, and remain committed to their work. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May God bring to eternal joy and peace those who died from war, violence, and abuse. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. God of joy and mercy, as we wait for the Lord's coming, look with compassion upon us. Sustain us with your love and care in all our travels, even as you assure us of your love and care in all that we do. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ the Lord, for He assumed at His first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without hand we play. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of her mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, pagibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Please stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.